You don't need fruit and vegetables in your diet. You should never take supplements if you have kidney disease. High blood pressure is perfectly normal and even good for you. Wait, wait, wait. What? Gathering here, they are 10 dangerous myths related to kidney disease that you should know about. Fact. Believing even just one of these common myths can put your kidneys in danger. Let's see what they are. Myth number 10. Fruit is bad for diabetics. This is one of the myths I hear about more often. Many diabetes patients are so scared about eating fruits that they even comment on my videos about the best foods for kidney disease to tell me that fruits are bad for them. They totally want to avoid eating any fruit at all. Can you imagine how bad Will that be for their kidneys and whole body? Guys, it's a myth that all fruit should be avoided by diabetics. Fact, there are no forbidden fruits on a diabetes-friendly eating plan. Studies show that eating more whole fruits may actually be linked to improve insulin levels and better blood sugar control. Opting out for fruits that are lower in sugar such as berries, apples, and grapefruit may help. However, while it's true that some fruits contain more natural sugars than others, you can enjoy any of them if you stick to the proper portion sizes. Artificial sweeteners are safe and good for you. Okay, this is one of the most dangerous myths of them all. Decades of ruthless advertising really instilled in people a false sense of safety when it comes to artificial sweeteners. Yeah, don't believe that both. Fact! Research found out that those who drank two or more diet sodas daily had a two-fold increase in the risk of a significant drop in their kidney function. So avoid artificial sweetened drinks, especially dark colas that are also rich in added phosphates. Myth number eight. The alkaline diet is just another fat diet. If you follow me here regularly, you may already know that I consider the alkaline diet a must for people with kidney problems. And yet, if you will Google right now, does the alkaline diet really work? Here's what Google will tell you. The alkaline diet promotes the false idea that it is possible to change blood pH with diet. Major changes in blood pH could be very dangerous. Google is clearly not wrong on that. So is that all? No more fruit and veggies in our renal diets? Well, there is one thing that we may be forgetting here. You cannot change the pH of your blood with the diet because there is one organ that will always rebalance it. Can you guess what organ takes care of keeping the pH of the body in balance? Yeah, you got that right. The kidneys. And that's a job that requires a lot of effort from the kidneys, especially if they are impaired. This is why, for the general population, it's not really that important to follow an alkaline diet. But for people with kidney problems, following a diet rich in alkaline foods, fruits and veggies instead of acidic foods, meat and processed foods, will really make a positive difference because the kidneys are more protected. So yes, it's a myth that you don't need to eat many fruits and veggies in your diet. You will know if you have kidney disease. Fact, most people who have kidney disease don't know it. Why not? Because in the early stages of kidney disease, most people do not have any symptoms. Symptoms may not appear until kidney disease is in the advanced stages. What to do if you have doubts about the conditions of your kidneys? First of all, watch out for risk factors of kidney disease. Diabetes and high blood pressure are the most common causes of kidney disease. Other risk factors include age over 60, direct family history of kidney disease, obesity, and smoking. If you have any doubt, get tested. There are many steps you can take to fight the disease once diagnosed. Number six, growing old. It is normal to have high blood pressure. This is a myth that even some doctors still believe. It was actually part of medical literature some decades ago. 
Since so many seniors have high blood pressure, it must be normal, they thought. It probably even helps getting the blood where it should go, right? Well, nothing more dangerous. Fact. No matter your age or your existing conditions, your blood pressure must always be kept under control. And this is especially important for kidney function. Number five, I pass a lot of urine, so my kidneys are fine. Fact, in the early stages of kidney disease, a person passes normal urine volume. Only at an advanced stage or stage 5, the kidney can lose ability to eliminate water. Only laboratory tests can rule out kidney disease. So, if you are not sure, get tested. Number 4. Vegetable protein is always good for you. Okay, this is just another dangerous one. Even some people watching me here on Double O Kidney still believe this myth. Fact. When you have kidney disease in the advanced stages, you need to limit protein intake from all sources, vegetables included. And while it's completely true that most veggies have very low protein content, there are still some that do contain protein. This includes soy, legumes, nuts, and seeds. And remember to always exercise portion control with these veggies if you are following a low protein diet. Number three, kidney disease is uncommon. Fact, kidney disease is very common. Chronic kidney disease affects one in nine people in the US. One third of Americans has multiple risk factors for kidney failure. In fact, more people die annually from complications of kidney disease than breast cancer and colon cancer combined. You should never take supplements if you have kidney disease. Okay. Here is another myth that is mostly propagated by doctors. No matter what the supplement is, certain doctors will always tell you not to take it. But are they right? Fact: All kidney disease patients need some supplements. Vitamin D is a clear example. Recent study confirmed that 9 out of 10 kidney disease patients have low levels of this essential vitamin. So, you need to supplement it. And for many patients, the same is true for vitamin C and the vitamins of the B group too. Guys, if you want to know more about what vitamins you actually need, watch my video up here. Myth number one, the only treatment for kidney disease is dialysis. Hmm. Oh, some doctors still believe this one too. Fact, if you get diagnosed with kidney disease in its early stages, you will need to manage it with exercise, diet, and the correct medications. Don't wait for it to get worse. With this approach, most people can slow or stop the progression of kidney disease and enjoy a normal lifestyle. Guys, if you want to know what the perfect treatment for each stage of kidney disease is this video up here is for you and this is all for today thank you for watching